Pope Alexander III c. 1111-05 to 3 August 1181, born Roland of Siena, was Pope from 7 September 1159 to his death in 1181. Through the papal bull Manifestus Probatum, issued on 23 May 1179, he recognized the right of Afonso I to proclaim himself King of Portugal, thus recognizing Portugal as an independent and sovereign kingdom. He also laid the foundation stone for the Notre Dame de Paris. <laughs> Early life and career Pope Alexander III was born in Siena. From 14th century he is referred to as a member of the aristocratic family of Bandinelli, although this has not been proven. He was long thought to be the 12th century canon lawyer and theologian Master Roland of Bologna, who composed the Stroma, or Summa Rilandi, one of the earliest commentaries on the Decretum of Gratian, and the Sententiae Rilandi a sentence collection displaying the influence of Pierre Abelard, but John T. Noonan and Rudolf Weigand have shown this to be another Rolandus. He probably studied at Bologna, where Robert of Torigny notes that he taught theology. In October 1150, Pope Eugene III created him Cardinal Deacon of Santi Cosma e Damiano. Later he became Cardinal Priest of St. Mark. In 1153, he became Papal Chancellor and was the leader of the cardinals opposed to German Emperor Frederick I Barbarossa. He negotiated the Treaty of Benevento, which restored peaceful relations between Rome and the Kingdom of Sicily. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Disputed election. Topic: <inaudible> On the 7th of September 1159, he was chosen the successor to Pope Adrian IV, the only Briton to ever hold the office. A minority of the cardinals, however, elected the cardinal priest Octavian, who assumed the name of Victor IV and became the German emperor's antipope. The situation was critical for Alexander III, because according to many chronicles of the time perhaps exaggerating, Barbarossa S. Antipope received the approval of most of the kingdoms of Europe, with the exception of the kingdoms of Portugal, Sicily and Spain. However, in 1161, King Geza II of Hungary signed an agreement and recognized Alexander III as the rightful pope and declared that the supreme spiritual leader was the only one who could exercise the right of investiture. This meant that Alexander's legitimacy was gaining strength, as soon proved by the fact that other monarchs, such as the King of France and King Henry II of England, recognized his authority. Because of imperial strength in Italy, Alexander was forced to reside outside of Rome for a large part of his pontificate. When news reached him of the death of Victor in 1164, he openly wept, and scolded the cardinals in his company for rejoicing at the end of the rival Antipope. However, the dispute between Alexander III, Antipope Victor IV, and his successors Antipope Paschal III and Antipope Calixtus III, who had the German imperial support, continued until Frederick Barbarossa. S defeat at the Legnano in 1176, after which Barbarossa finally, in the Peace of Venice of 1177, recognized Alexander III as Pope. On the 12th of March 1178, Alexander III returned to Rome, which he had been compelled to leave twice. The first time between 1162 and the 23rd of November 1165, when he was sent into exile in Campania by Adun Frangipane following his brief arrest and detainment, and again in 1167. The first period he spent in France, the latter chiefly in Gita, Benevento, Anagni, and Venice. <inaudible> Alexander's politics <inaudible> Alexander III was the first pope known to have paid direct attention to missionary activities east of the Baltic Sea. He had created the Archbishopric of Uppsala in Sweden in 1164, probably at the suggestion of his close friend Eskel, Archbishop of Lund, exiled in Clairvaux, France, due to a conflict with the Danish king. The latter appointed a Benedictine monk Folko as a bishop in Estonia. In 1171, Alexander became the first pope to address the situation of the church in Finland, with Finns allegedly harassing priests and only relying on God in time of war. In the bull Non Parum Animus Noster, in 1171 or 1172, he gave papal sanction to ongoing crusades against pagans in northern Europe, promising remission of sin for those who fought there. 
In doing so, he legitimized the widespread use of forced conversion as a tactic by those fighting in the Baltic. Besides checkmating Barbarossa, Alexander humbled King Henry II of England for the murder of Thomas Becket in 1170, to whom he was unusually close, later canonizing Becket in 1173. This was the second English saint canonized by Alexander, the first being Edward the Confessor in 1161. Nonetheless, he confirmed the position of Henry as Lord of Ireland in 1172. Through the papal bull Manifestus Probatum, issued on 23 May 1179, he also recognized the right of Afonso I to proclaim himself King of Portugal, an important step in the process of Portugal becoming a recognized independent kingdom Afonso had been using the title of king since 1139. Efforts at reform even as a fugitive, Alexander enjoyed the favor and protection of Louis VII of France. In 1163, Alexander summoned clergy and prelates from England, France, Italy, and Spain to the Council of Tours to address, among other things, the unlawful division of ecclesiastical benefices, clerical usury, and lay possession of tithes. In March 1179, Alexander III held the Third Council of the Lateran, one of the most important medieval church councils, reckoned by the Catholic Church as the Eleventh Ecumenical Council. Its acts embodied several of the Pope's proposals for the betterment of the condition of the Church, among them the law requiring that no one could be elected Pope without the votes of two-thirds of the cardinals. The rule was altered slightly in 1996, but was restored in 2007. This synod marked the summit of Alexander III. S power nevertheless soon after the close of the synod the roman republic forced alexander iii to leave the city which he never re-entered and on the 29th of september 1179 some nobles set up the antipope innocent iii by the judicious use of money however alexander iii got him into his power so that he was deposed in january 1180 in 1181, Alexander III excommunicated King William I of Scotland and put the kingdom under an interdict. He died at Civita Castellana on 3 August 1181. See also Topic. List of popes Topic. Notes Topic. Topic. References. Topic. Herbermann, Charles, ed. 1913. Pope Alexander III. Catholic Encyclopedia. New York: Robert Appleton Company. This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain: Chisholm, Hugh, ed. 1911. Alexander Popes. Encyclopædia Britannica, 11th ed. Cambridge University Press. Miriam Soria Adebert. Pontifical Propaganda During the Schisms, Alexander III to the Reconquest of Church Unity. In Convanker et Persuader, Communication et Propagande Ox 12 et Z. C. Eccles. Ed. Par Martin Aurel. Poitiers, Université de Poitiers Centre d'Etudes Supérieures de Civilisation Medievale, 2007.